Hey guys, Doc. We're gonna talk fertilizers today, but so you don't get confused, I want you to understand something. I just did a video about the different stages, the dormant, the transition, and the growing stage. This is still dormant, getting ready to go into the transition phase, so I would not be putting down a 1608 on this. I would not be putting down a growth fertilizer on this. We have put down the PGF balance, the 101010, we put down Humichar, but this is not ready for PGF complete, so don't get confused. Now let me show you a cool season grass. This is dwarf bent and blue. This is my green, and guess what? <laughs> the green is growing, so it is ready for PGF complete, the 16, the 1648. So before I start this video, I just want you to understand that, don't get confused. If your lawn is like mine, where it's still dormant, you're not gonna be putting down PGF complete. You should be putting down the 10, 10, 10, just leaving it alone. Once it starts to grow, then we go to PGF complete. So let's go in and let's talk fertilizers a little bit. So hold on. Hey guys, Doc. So we're just gonna have a little discussion today. Um, my son's coming over. We're gonna do some more scalping on the lawn. I'll probably cut the grain down a little bit shorter today, but I wanted to take a break for a minute and go over NPK ratios and the best fertilizer for your lawn. And I want to talk a little bit about the background of how the PGF fertilizer lawn fertilizers came into existence. So don't forget, hit subscribe wherever that is because you don't want to miss all this crap we're doing out here. Ooh. But um, also in the description, I'll link to all the products I'm talking about and I'll even put links, reference links to all the extension offices and information I'm talking about. Let me explain how this whole product line developed. Um, frustration. All your big box stores, <laughs> You have one buyer that's sitting there somewhere in the United States, and that buyer is buying in bulk for all the stores throughout the United States. So that buyer understands that he can't buy something with phosphorus in it that needs to go to, say, New Jersey, where they restrict phosphorus, or to Florida during certain times. So he's not necessarily buying the best fertilizer for your lawn. He's buying the best fertilizer for them to sell to all their markets. Does that make sense? So they're removing good things out of it because of regulations that your lawn is probably gonna need. So that's why when you go to a big box store, you're gonna see mostly something like a 3005, or you'll see a weed and feed product or fertilizer plus pre-emergent. That's, that's sort of the big box mass market mindset. And so what I did coming from a golf course background I went to Anderson's. Now Anderson's is one of the largest specialty fertilizer companies in the world. And they market to the sports industry, the golf industry, the turf industry, professional industry, and they custom, they have laboratories where they can custom make specific products. So I went to them and I said, here's what I want from you guys. I want, since every extension office out there, and you can Google this yourself, just go to Google and type in .edu extension best NPK ratio for lawns. And what will propagate up off of that is all the extension offices and what they recommend for the best NPK ratio. And every single one of them will say the same thing. In the absence of a soil test, you should use a 312 or a 412 ratio on your fertilizers. So when we went to Anderson's, we said we want a 412 ratio, 1648. 1648 is a 412 ratio. You just multiply it or divide it out. That's the best ratio, that's what we want, number one. Number two, we want micronutrients, we want a high amount of iron inside of it, plus we want um, throw in some human char and particle size. Why is particle size so important? They do something, you can call it particles per square inch or particles per square foot, but the smaller your fertilizer is, the more distribution, the more particles per square foot you can get. So if I take a big cheap fertilizer, I may only have five to 10 particles per square foot. If you look at PGF complete, you may have 30 to 50 particles per square foot for the same amount of fertilizer out there. So the smaller the particle size, the better distribution. So now we've got a few things covered. We've got the right ratio, we've got micros, we've got iron, we've got all that, we've got real small particle size, and we have three forms of high quality nitrogen. So, in my last video, I talked about the three zones that we're talking about. We're talking about the dormant, the transition zone, and the growing zone. Now, PGF complete, P 
PGF complete is after you scalp, you're going to start putting down PGF complete on your lawn. And you're going to put it down because it's a mild fertilizer. I want you to put it down every three weeks. About every three weeks, you're going to do a light coat of PGF complete. Why is that important? Because fertilizers melt slowly, they dissolve slowly into your lawn. And when you have big thunderstorms or you're out there cutting aggressively, you can get fertilizer movement, you can get fertilizer pooling. So instead of going out there and dumping a huge amount of fertilizer that's supposed to last you eight to 12 weeks, it makes much more sense, and this is what golf courses do, to do incremental feeding. So we'll do a light coat and then we'll come back every three weeks during this beginning season where we wanna push our lawns. Every three weeks, we're just gonna do a light coat, light coat. At the same time, we should be putting out humichar. And what does humichar do? Humichar is heavy in biochar and humic acid, and it'll hold on to those nutrients in your soil. When the, when the warm heat starts to come through, we'll do a little bit of a shift, and this is where we'll start to do some of our organic, um, some of our organic programs. Now, some people are asking, should or can I use, and this is real important, I covered this in the last video, while your temperatures are, your grass is coming out of that transition and starting to go into your grow zone, you do not want to use any kind of organic fertilizers. You don't want to use anything that's a bio-based, so plant-based, bio-waste based, and why is that? It's because for those to work effectively, they have to be digested by soil microbes. That's the only way they work. They have to be eaten and they have to be dissolved. They have to go through that decomposition process for the nutrients to be released. Well, your lawn doesn't have a lot of active soil microbes. So you hold off on any of that type of fertilizer until the summertime. And what we'll be doing is we'll actually start to shut off our chemical fertilizers and we'll start to put down organic matter We'll spray with super juice, which is more of a biostimulant, and we'll put a microbial pack inside of that super juice. It's the same thing we're doing in our gardens. We've done for two years. We stopped using any fertilizer inside of our vegetable gardens, and now we're just using the Dirt Booster product, which should be up on Amazon hopefully pretty soon for you guys. So all of this evolved into a professional grade fertilizers. Now there's three versions of PGF Complete. The standard, which is the 1648, which is what everyone should use on their lawn. The only exception being, um, if you have a soil test done and you have high phosphorus, or you have a centipede lawn. In those two cases, you'll go to a 1608. So it's the same product, but the phosphorus is removed out of it. So if you have high phosphorus levels, you go to the 1608 versus the, versus the 1648. If you have centipede, probably a 16. Centipede just doesn't like phosphorus. Um, the other one is the 10-10-10 balance, and that's what we put down. Most of you guys probably should have, if you haven't, get down your PGF balance, and that's that jumpstart program we do in the spring. So, what's interesting is that I actually have some cool season grasses over here in my, in, on my putting green. This is bent and blue. And they're more cool season and you can see they look absolutely gorgeous right now so what am i going to put down on my cool season green on my cool season green i'm going to start to put down the 1648 pgf complete i'm not putting that down on my bermuda lawn yet because my bermuda lawn is still dormant so we put down the 10 10 10 and we put down humichar and we're just leaving that alone what i will do is i will come out here after we do all of our scalping and my lawn wakes up, that's when we're gonna to start to hit with PGF Complete. Then we're gonna come out almost every three weeks and we're gonna put a light coat, light coat, light coat. Again, you have to, you're gonna be cutting low, you're gonna be cutting aggressive, um, you're gonna have thunderstorms come through and that's why instead of dumping one big load and expecting it to work, we come in with very light, very light, very light, very light, and it works really well. Following what I was talking about before, this is, this is um, a larger bag of PGF Complete. I actually like the smaller bags. <laughs> this is a larger bag, that's what they had in stock when I ordered it. And I'm going to go feed my green. Now one of the reasons why particle size is important to golf courses is the interruption of play. 
So if you look at fertilizers that are made for golf greens, the particle size is even smaller than this. But one of the nice things about this particle size is it'll get down into your, into your thatch layer deep down really quickly and it'll just sit there. And your lawnmower doesn't suck it up and move it. So if you have larger particles, you'll actually, and, and run your lawnmower bagger over it, you'll actually pick up that larger particle size. These tiny particles, you can take a blower or the first rain that hits, they're gonna go right into your thatch layer and they're gonna hide. So they're less apt to have lawnmower pickup or lawnmower movement too. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here is PGF complete and you can see just how tiny these particles are. Now the green particles in here, someone asked what the green is. That's actually methylene urea, which is a very, very expensive, almost synthetic type of nitrogen. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It's very expensive. It's actually really nice. But um, that's PGF complete right there with everything inside of it. I'm not being real specific on my green about how much I'm putting down. I just know I can just ballpark it. I can just eyeball it. I don't even know if you can see it. See that little tiny piece of fertilizer right there? <laughs> so this is dwarf grass and it's just, boom, it's just down inside of there protected. So I'll just come by with my blower and I'll just blow this and then I can go ahead and cut it right away too. I just took the tube off and I just blow it in. Can you see the fertilizer inside there? And see how tiny it is and see how it hides? So the nice thing is now I can come by here with my real mower and I can cut this even though I just put fertilizer out. So I'm not taking the green down to putting height because I still have a couple more days coming up where I'm going to touch into the 30s. So I'm leaving it a little bit long and thick, but uh, man, she sure looks good. <laughs> I'm just like, I want to take it down short so bad, but I got to be patient. So not too shabby, but it's not puttable yet. So. Again, I've switched over. This is the growing season for my cool season. So I'm on PGF complete, 1648. I've still got a couple weeks. We gotta do scalping on our Bermuda. It hasn't woken up. It's not in the growing. So we've put down the 10, 10, 10 and humichar. And uh, until I see really solid green and I've done my full scalp, then I'll go and I'll push it, push it, push it. Anyways, talk to you later. Die.